first course, Physics 101, The Domino Theory, taught by Bob Specka in Walnut Creek, California. Bob Specka knows all about the domino theory. He should. He owns 350,000 dominoes. He makes a living with them, setting up domino exhibitions for shopping mall openings and television commercials. A year and a half ago, he scored what was then a world record by setting up and knocking down 111,111 dominoes. They required two weeks to set up and 31 minutes to knock down. It was wonderful, but it wasn't enough for Bob Specka. My g lifetime goal for domino toppling would be to do one, 11 is my lucky number, so someday I hope to do 1,111,111 dominoes, which would fill about like two-thirds of a football field, and it would take about three and a half months to set up. A dream. It would be, yeah. I'd have to, I would be, I'd have to build a building just to, to hold them first, take about like eight basketball courts filled up. And uh, you never know, someday. <laughs> he prepared a domino display for us. It is relatively modest, but you may find it diverting. How long has this one taken so far? This took about six hours and 15 minutes, and we have about 8,000 dominoes. So I finished a little ahead of pace today. Who are the um, natural enemies of domino setter-uppers? <laughs> um, Mostly little kids at shopping malls, little ants and cockroaches and flies and just the <laughs> wind itself, people opening and shutting doors, the change in pressure in a room can knock them over. It's a very delicate system, obviously. And, um, you know, just, just careless, carelessness in general. The dominoes will stay there as long as nothing jars them. Whatever happens, once you start them, there's no turning back. And the first domino is the hardest. Can it give you a feeling of power? <laughs> I'll tell you the it. truth, I'm a little bit tense. <laughs> Should be good. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. All right. <laughs> You're off. The first highlight is the double ram horns as the green dominoes spiral oh, out. Look at that. <laughs> This is just a little inclined ramp on a yardstick. Here we go with the title of the show in blue. Oh, so oh it is on. And you notice the blue ones fall a little slower. That's because they're painted with a chalky paint that causes more friction and they therefore take them more energy to fall over. Here's the double helix, the DNA double helix. As they, in oh, red, that's they crisscross back over. Oh, I'm touched. Man, you always wanted your name up in dominoes, didn't you? <laughs> nice red one. <laughs> this is the up the mountain. The dominoes go uphill, and it appears that they're accelerating as they go up the top. And this is called the integration effect. Oh, spectacular. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> There's a CVS I logo in green. <laughs> there you oh, go. that's spectacular. You know, Bob Specka was right about one thing. I always did want to see my name up in dominoes. I never knew the thrill until now. <laughs>